Good morning, Gators. I hope you're having a wonderful morning so far. Today for our reading lesson, I am going to read you a, another Kevin Hankey's story. We have been reading Kevin Hankey's stories all week. And as I read you the story, our goals today are going to be to ask questions as we read. And then in the next video, we're going to do a little bit of a writer's workshop introduction. And we are going to learn about writer's workshop. Afterwards, you will make a connection to the story. And then you get to have some fun decorating your own writer's notebook. So let's take a little look at our story here. Our story today is called Owen. As I read this, I want you to be thinking about questions that you could ask about the story. We talked about what good readers do while they read, and we talked about the different parts of our body that we use when we read, and we talked especially about our brain. Our brain is always thinking as we read. And if you remember, we had our friend Howard, and the one part of his brain that we talked about was making a connection. And that's what we're going to do after we read our story today. You are going to show me how you can make a a connection. Another reading power that good readers use is questioning. They ask questions before, during, and after they read. This helps them get a better understanding of our story. So if I'm going to read to you Owen by Kevin Hankies, I'm going to look at the front cover and I'm wondering, the title is Owen and here is a mouse character and I'm wondering if this is going to be Owen in our story. And then I look and it looks like there's an older mouse there and that mouse has binoculars. I wonder why that mouse has binoculars. Maybe as I read I'm going to find some of the answers to the questions that I have. So let's enjoy our story, Owen. Owen had a fuzzy yellow blanket. He had it since he was a baby. He loved it with all his heart. There's an interesting word here, fuzzy. This word fuzzy and yellow describe what Owen's blanket looked like. It was yellow and if it was fuzzy. If something is fuzzy, it's, it could feel soft, it's not going to feel hard. It is going to feel soft. Fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Upstairs, downstairs, in between, inside, outside, upside down. Fuzzy likes what I like, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Orange juice, grape juice, chocolate milk, ice cream, peanut butter, applesauce cake. If I look at his blanket, Fuzzy, I can see that all of those things that Owen has eaten have also ended up on Fuzzy. And if I go back to this page, it said Owen has a fuzzy yellow blanket. Fuzzy was describing his yellow blanket. But on this page, Owen is calling his blanket Fuzzy. So Fuzzy must be the name of his blanket. Isn't he getting a little old to be carrying that thing around? Asked Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the blanket fairy? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezer filled them in. Now, if I remember my question about this lady with the binoculars, I still don't know why she had the binoculars, but here I'm finding out that the lady on the cover was actually the neighbor, Mrs. Tweezers. And why would she want him to get rid of his blankie? That night, Owen's parents told Owen to put Fuzzy under his pillow in the morning, Fuzzy would be gone, but the blanket fairy would leave an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific big boy gift in its place. Owen 
Owen stuffed Fuzzy inside his pajama pants and went to sleep. I'm questioning why would he put Owen inside his pajama pants? No blanket fairy, said Owen in the morning. No kidding, said Owen's mother. No wonder, said Owen's father. So this explains why Owen put the blanket in his pajama pants. He hid it from his mom and his dad. Fuzzy's dirty, said Owen's mother. Fuzzy's torn and ratty, said Owen's father. No, said Owen, Fuzzy is perfect, and Fuzzy was. If something is torn and ratty, it means it's starting to fall apart. It's not in very good condition anymore. Fuzzy played Captain Plunger with Owen. Oh, look it. A plunger is something that goes into the toilet. And there is Fuzzy. Fuzzy helped Owen become invisible. Bet you can't see me. So Owen used Fuzzy to put over his head. Look at his dad. His dad to me kind of wonder, he looks like he's like, oh no. And Fuzzy was essential when it came to nail clippings and haircuts and trips to the dentist. So I'm wondering what the word essential means. And if it says it's essential when he goes to get his hair cut or when he goes to the dentist, to me, it looks like it's that he must go with. So essential means that they are very important. Can't be a baby forever, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. I'm wondering what this is when they're talking about the vinegar trick. Do you know what vinegar is? Vinegar is something that we have in our kitchens. And sometimes we use it when we are cooking. But I've never used vinegar on a blanket before. When Owen wasn't looking, his father dipped Owen's favorite corner of fuzzy into a jar of vinegar. Hmm. Vinegar doesn't always smell the greatest. I wonder why he would dip his blanket into vinegar. Owen sniffed it and smelled it and sniffed it. Then he picked a new corner of his blanket. So that's why they were trying to get him not to want his blanket because they dipped it in the vinegar and it would stink. But Owen, he just found a different favorite corner. Then he rubbed the smelly corner all over his sandbox, buried it in the garden, and dug it up again. Good as new, said Owen. I don't think that they're getting him to get rid of his blanket very quickly. Fuzzy wasn't very fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it and wore it and dragged it. He sucked it and hugged it and twisted it. What are we going to do? asked Owen's mother. School is starting soon, said Owen's father. Can't bring a blanket to school, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of saying no? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezer filled them in. Wonder what that means. Haven't you heard of saying no? I have to bring Fuzzy to school, said Owen. No, said Owen's mother. No, said Owen's father. Owen buried his face in Fuzzy. He started to cry and would not stop. So then they finally, that's what it means when they said, haven't you heard of saying no? They say, no, you can't take your blankie to school. Don't worry, said Owen's mother. It'll be all right, said Owen's father. And then suddenly, Owen's mother said, I have an idea. It was an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific idea. First, she snipped, and then she sewed, 
Then she snipped again and sold some more. I wonder what she's doing. I wonder why she's snipping and sewing. Snip, 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 so, so, so. Dry your eyes, wipe your nose. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Now Owen carries one of his not so fuzzy handkerchiefs with him wherever he goes. So she cut his blanket into these little pieces and then he uses them as a handkerchief. And he has lots of them because the blanket made lots of little pieces. So he can use them to wipe his hands. He can use them to wipe his eyes. Here he's using it as a parachute or wipe his nose. He even sleeps with it. And Mrs. Tweezers doesn't say a thing. Why doesn't Mrs. Tweezers say a thing? Take a look closely. What do you see? Mrs. Tweezers has a little piece of a blanket herself. So she is not so worried about Owen having his anymore. So as we read this story, we talked, we, we were asking questions as we were going through, and then we were looking to see if some of those questions were answered. That is what good readers do. They make connections, and they answer questions. So as you are continuing to read on your own this week and this weekend, go ahead and keep practicing making those connections and also, also asking those questions. So your activity to go with this book is, I want you to think about a connection that you can make to Owen, to yourself. And then on the, next, on the activity, you're going to share that with me. All right. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls, and we will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend.